So we're out in the test garden with the double score. We got a couple requests for a depth test. I don't want to go too in depth with this because like I said, there is an update coming, but if anything changes after that, I will do a behind the scenes. And if I notice a difference, I'll show it again. I don't know if it's going to be features or if, you know, what's going on with that update. I haven't heard from them yet, but it, since I did the separation, I will show depth as well. This is a, a very deep machine. All the machines out now, the Legend, the Nocta, the Deus, the Manicore, the 900, all very deep machines. What I've noticed lately, it all comes down to ID stability with unmasking. And you saw the block test with this. It is doing a really great job on those level four blocks. I think after seeing this, I, I'm going to have to create like level five blocks because they are getting better and better. So I'm in multi two here. Um, I just, I'm eliminating ground, so we'll look at the stability. We'll just go through a couple of deep targets here. So here's a 10 inch flat button. And let's look where I have my recovery speed first. Oh, iron filter nine. We don't want it there. Okay. And recovery speed two. We'll go to three and we'll see how we do. You could see that the modulation changed with that because I went to three. Let's go back down to two. It'll get louder. That's crazy. All right, 10 inch flat button. Um, this isn't deep, but we'll look at the ID stability on a six inch LC. This is a very polluted test garden. Um, props to Don. Thank you, my hunting buddy Don, for helping me find my test garden because I had a driveway poured a few months ago and they asked if they could plow right over the cliff and I said yes, not thinking about it. So I had to find all my markers again and relabel a bunch of them. So thanks Don for helping me do that. Six inch large scent, which is not that deep, but for New England, eight inches is uh, pretty impressive. All right, we'll go right up the line here. Here's an eight inch SLQ. Now you're gonna notice that this machine will up average. If you watched my Relic Hunt video, you saw the King George the third come in at 60. Well, the same thing with this SLQ at eight inches. You'll see a 60 VDI. These new machines that up average, I much rather have an up averaging machine that does it at depth than a down averaging machine. The AT Pro days, that AT Pro at depth would um, down average into the iron range. So you wouldn't even hear it. Now these machines now, and we're using the multi-frequency actually up average, a silver quarter that was on the ground, that was, you know, above the ground would not read a 60 on, uh, for an ID. So here's a silver quarter. You can see the ID of 60. And here's a 10 inch, a uh, little go to an eight inch V nickel, no, Buffalo nickel, 25. And here's a 10 inch V nickel. You can hear the modulation get a lot softer there. I'll give you an example now of a, a bottle cap really quick. So here's a rusty bottle cap. So I think they added and this is with iron filter of zero. I think they added some of their bottle cap behind the scenes. If you look at the block test I did, at zero, it's ignoring iron. We notice it's doing something with rusty bottle caps as well. And we're just at iron filter zero. So it's unmasking, it's ignoring nails, and it's doing something with bottle cap. Now, they might, they might not like that I'm saying this, but I would like them to do whatever they did with this double score on the legend because it's uh, it's really impressive whatever they did here on how they have bottle caps. If you lower the iron filter and stability on the legend, which is kind of you're playing back and forth to figure out which is which, you will get a good signal on a bottle cap where this is just zero through nine and zero is knocking out a bottle cap, a rusty bottle cap, which is really impressive. But there's a quick depth test. I will keep you guys in the loop when it comes to that update. Everyone, thank you for watching.